if I tell people that my mother passed from pancreatic cancer, usually I, I just get like, they'll say they're sorry or whatever, but um, n nobody really knows about it. Like it's, I, I hadn't either. I had no idea. When she first started feeling uncomfortable, she just brushed it off as that because it was just a, like a lower back weird feeling. My name is Maureen Fitzpatrick. I'm 24 years old. My mom, Lisa Erdman from Seattle, Washington, was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer in early March of 2008 and passed away on July 7th of 2008. That is when I got my my diagnosis of, of malignancy and was given six to nine months to live, I started looking up pancreatic cancer and realized this is a bad disease. The chances that I were given of making it to six to nine months were less than 10%, making it to a year was less than 10%, and the elusive goal of making it to five years is less than 5%. Pancreatic cancer right now is the fourth leading killer amongst cancers. More interestingly, it is one of the only cancers you can point to and say, uh, in the last 30 years, we've made no progress. I go and talk to the researchers, researcher to researcher, and I'll tell you, it pretty much stinks when I meet a hotshot researcher and I know I can just ask the question, which parent? We wouldn't have gotten very far with breast cancer research if we had only limited it to people who went into it because they lost their mother. Uh, people right now who are young researchers aren't heading towards pancreatic cancer research because it's wildly underfunded, and it's always been underfunded. My name is Tyler Nason, and I'm 27 years old. Uh, two years ago, when I was 25, I was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer. I was playing soccer, and I actually went up for a header kind of tweaked my abs and then was just paying attention to my belly. We did an ultrasound uh, and saw a fairly large cyst in my belly, um, something on the order of 12 by 14 by 10 centimeters, so like a big grapefruit. Pancreatic cancer is, first of all, it's, it, it's, it's almost an asymptomatic cancer or disease. There's only 36 to 37,000 cases a year in the United States, and yet it's the fourth leading killer. It, it, it made me realize this is an insidious disease, and it's one that nobody really knows a lot about. It was one thing to deal with a large cyst in my body, but then finding out that it had metastasized already uh, was, it was quite hard to, to hear um, that it was already pretty late in the game. Fortunately, breast cancer is becoming more of a manageable disease, and there's been millions upon millions of dollars poured into that to get it to that point. Pancreatic cancer, unfortunately, we still don't know a lot about it. We still don't know the reasons for it. This is a disease you can't protect yourself against. I never smoked. I never drank. I exercised every day. Uh, I tried to eat right, and it just comes like a thunderbolt out of the blue. She was super healthy, super happy. She had been sober. She cel in the hospital, she celebrated her 27th year of sobriety. She didn't smoke. She worked out every day. She was a vegan. I really didn't fit into any risk group whatsoever. I mean, I didn't smoke. I didn't drink excessively. Basically, it's kind of just a fight against time for me. You know, it's how long can I hold out? Um, and then hopefully I can hold out until something comes through that uh, we'll really be able to address this disease. Mm -hmm.